Hi there. This is Mason Van Horn, and I am here to demonstrate the process of sourcing uh, solid information to put into our research papers. Okay. And hey, so my example is I'm uh, writing uh, a paper on elephants. And so I've written out a general introduction paragraph and a general conclusion paragraph. And then we're also going to look at how to cite some information. So, so you would type in T-E-N-T-L dot I-N-F-O. So 10 tell dot info. This is the Tennessee Electronic Library, okay? And so this is a resource, again, that is available to all Tennesseans, no matter your age, if you're in school, or if you're not. But there are specific resources that are designed for students. So we're going to click on the student tab right here. And since this is focused on a high school uh, age group, I'm going to select the high school subject. Um, so this brings us to a page of resources and databases that are designed to help students find reliably sourced information, okay? Because the internet is full of information from various backgrounds. So, so we want to try to find places that we can find safe information and information that contains truth. And then uh, down here, uh, yes, there's the World Book Discover and World Book Advance. So let's go ahead and look at this World Book Advance. So whenever you open these up, it's going to give you the page and it gives you, uh, you have some guides and video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow if you need. But we're going to click to use this resource, okay? And so whenever we pull this up, it pulls up a uh, a search uh, bar, okay? And so you can type in anything that you're researching, but today I'm focusing on elephants, okay? And so here we have information that it's popped up, the elephant, elephant true, elephant seal, elephant bird. So, so we're going to look at this title for elephants. So, here we found information. Elephant is the largest animal that lives on land. Among all animals, only some kinds of whales are larger. So, so we start to get some information about what we're looking at. Okay, now we don't want to leave this because these aren't our words, right? These are somebody else's words. So we're going to cite these. Okay, so this is a large bit of information, but we want to be able to find where this information is. So I'm going to put, I'm going to go back to this website and I'm going to try to see, well, where, how can I cite this? There are a few ways you can take the information and use like a, a generator for it. But in all of these, you're going to find some tools. So look at this little tool setting. And if you come down here, you'll click citations. And what is great is that this has already done it for you. So we can, we're going to be writing this in MLA format. So we'll copy this and we can come down here and go to our work cited page and paste it in here. Now, whenever we paste this information, it's not going to be in the correct format. So if you come to your word processor and you click on this paragraph, you'll see this little drawdown. Okay. And once this opens up, it, it'll open up a new page, essentially, and you'll see some indentations. You'll see general, alignment, outline, indentations, and you can change these spacings or indentations manually. But if you go over here to special, you'll click down and we're going to be using a hanging paragraph, okay? And so this is just a specific function. You'll see the example right there. And look, the citation is already in the format. So